Since February, all eyes have been on the fighting in Ukraine, but other deadly conflicts have brought danger and instability to the lives of millions. Geopolitical divides are contributing to global insecurity, triggering new conflicts and making it increasingly difficult to end old ones. Since the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan in 2021, there have been numerous bombings, some targeting religious minorities. Many of the attacks have been attributed to the Islamic State. In addition, tensions between the Taliban and Pakistan have erupted in a series of battles along the border. In April, Pakistani airstrikes killed dozens. In July, a U.S. drone attack killed Ayman al-Zawahiri, leader of al-Qaeda. A reminder that though the U.S. military is no longer on the ground in Afghanistan, the ability to strike remains. This is one of only a handful of strikes that have eliminated terrorists. One of those strikes was errant and killed uh, seven civilians, including a former U.S. humanitarian contractor. In northern Syria, clashes continue between Turkey and Kurdish fighters, and Islamic State has showed signs of resurgence. The potential looms for a larger conflict between Turkey and Kurdish militias. Yemen's conflict has created a humanitarian crisis. A six-month truce ended in October. Since then, there have been sporadic outbursts of violence, but a full-fledged war has not resumed. In Venezuela, tensions with Colombia have eased. The border has reopened and the two countries have restored diplomatic ties after the swearing-in of a new leftist president in Colombia in August. In Haiti, heavily armed street gangs have spread violence and the government has been unable to gain control. An economic crisis, a gang crisis, and a political crisis have converged into a humanitarian catastrophe. The Biden administration is proposing a multinational armed force enter the Caribbean country. The Haitian government has requested foreign troops, but the effort has stalled in the UN. Since the military took control of Myanmar in 2021, a cycle of violence has continued. More than a million people have been displaced from their homes. Airstrikes aimed at ethnic minorities have killed civilians. A border dispute between Armenia and Azerbaijan has led to military clashes that have left more than 100 people dead. The fighting threatens to draw in other countries, including Russia and Turkey. Yeah. Ethiopia's civil war continued to rage throughout 2022, killing and wounding thousands and creating a massive humanitarian crisis. In November, parties agreed to a truce and some aid has begun to flow into the Tigray region. But it's not clear if the ceasefire will lead to lasting peace. The people of Ethiopia expected more than the text of this argument. They demand peace and harmony. They desire development. They have charted a promising and bright future. Looking toward 2023, many around the world are hoping for less conflict and more peace. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.